Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your keyboards to your iPad and play Roblox with it. So I had had I have had like a video on how to do this before, like a year ago, but this is like an updated version. So first, you want to head over to settings right here. So once you head to settings, make sure that full access keyboards off. How you can find that? Go to accessibility. Hit keyboards, make sure your keyboard's connected uh, with Bluetooth or via USB with an adapter. Make sure it's supported. Make sure full access keyboard's off. And also switch control. Make sure that's off right here. And also you need to make sure that you have iOS 13 and above. So right here I have 15.7. So anyway, you then you want to get out and head to your browser. You can use any browser. I'm going to be using Safari. So once you head to Safari, you want to click on here and you want to search now.gg roblox. So anyway, uh I I'll have this in the description if you want to go and get it, but I'm going to find it's right here first link. Okay, click on that and click play in browser right here. Roblox, it will. This is the link right here. I'll make sure to put that in the description. So now you just want to wait for this to load. So I'll be back once this loads. It shouldn't take that long. So it loaded over here. Once it loads, you want to click this button right here. It should load it. So I just have a random account I have. So that you just once you're done with that, make sure you click this, and you you can sign into an account that you have. So like you can sign with the Google account or anything to save your data. So once you're done with that, you can hit full screen, and you can join any game. Let's just join this game of the tests. Let's just join Petsimax. Alright, it's on the home page. Keep in mind, I've never used this account before. I made this account a few days ago, so I'm loaded in the game. So, uh, now what you can do, if you have a mouse linked like I do right here, uh, you can use your mouse, and I'm pretty sure it's it works better with the arrow keys, but WSD also works, but it's, it's sometimes it doesn't. So you have to use arrow keys on this, and jump button works right here. So I have my keyboard connected. This is my mouse. Anyway, I can use right click and left click to move. You can zoom out. And I'm just going to hit full screen again. Okay, right there. There are some ads on this website, but I don't really mind. Uh, it takes up most of your screen. That's the bad thing. Uh, the graphics are also not that good. If you hit to settings. Uh, let's let me see. Yeah, you can change the graphics, make them look better. Let's see if that does anything. Uh, yeah, the graphics don't really look good. It's not that laggy too. You can also use this cursor. It also comes up with mobile game things because it, it thinks you're mobile because this is an emulator. So this is pretty easy to do, and it was much easier than my last tutorial. So. And yeah, it also performs better. Like, you can play all of these on this. You can basically play any game with this. So, I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you can. It would really help me out. Yeah, I'm trying to hit 2K. I'm really close. 1.9K, I think. So, well, as of now. Okay, so anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video off. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.